guys welcome back to my channel hi I'm Amy if you're new welcome I'm glad you're here today I'll be decorating my mantle for winter after getting all my Christmas decor down I've left it completely bare and I've been playing with things here and there so I pretty much have an idea of what I'm going to be doing I wanted to make a garland instead of running out and buying it so that's what we'll get into first for winter decor I think it's nice to go ahead and repurpose some of your Christmas items, things that are neutral, like whites and grays, pines, all that kind of thing, and then you can use it during the winter season, so I think that's kind of nice. But I would limit your um, reds, because that may make it look a little too much like Christmas. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the garlic. So this is what we'll be making first, this Hello Winter banner. So here are the materials that you will need. First, is some burlap and this is what you're going to make your individual flags for your banner and I'm going to spell out hello winter so I will need seven different flags I also had this type of wrapping paper for Christmas and I thought it resembled birch wood now you can go to the craft store and go ahead and pick that up but this is what I had on hand and that's what I'm going to put the letters on and of course I have my scissors my ruler my paper cutter uh, a pen and pencil. So first we're going to go ahead and make the flags out of the burlap and for each flag I made them five and a half inches long by four inches wide. So you're just going to measure and cut seven of these out. So once you have all seven of your flags cut out, we're going to go ahead and fold them halfway, mark up one inch on the center, and then angle and cut that towards the point to make the dovetail. Now we'll cut the paper into three and a half by three and a half inch squares and this is what you're going to write each individual letter on for the banner except for the hello and that's going to be on one single flag for the banner. Now that you have those cut we're just going to write our letters on the paper. Now you can go ahead and find a stencil to write these, but I felt confident enough to just go ahead and freehand um, all the letters and I had enough that if I messed up I could um, of course make new. So here I just glued those together and I used some Mod Podge glue and a sponge brush. While that dries I wanted to make a pom-pom garland and so I'm just going to take a piece of uh, yarn here. Now I already batch made the pom-poms. I will link the card up above that you can watch the tutorial on how easily it is to make a batch of pom-poms. So uh, now that I have them all ready I'm just going to attach them uh, every about six inches but uh, it's nice I didn't tie the knot real real tight so I can slide them and position them where I want them. I really like this garland. I think that the, the pom-poms resemble snowballs, so I really like it and I really think it'll add a lot to our mantle. Now that the flags for the banner are dry now, I'm going to go ahead and attach them to a piece of just some twine that I'll hang on the mantle and what I did was just staple each corner um, and just make sure that you're able to still be able to slide each uh, flag so that you can position it the way you want it once it's hung. So I wanted to add an embellishment to the banner 
and it is a snowflake that is made from the glue from the hot glue gun. Um, you can actually see how to make this in my tutorial and I will link the video up above or at the end so be sure to check that out because it's very fun and easy to do. But I'm just going to take a needle and thread and just thread that through and then attach it to the twine. Now it's all ready to be hung. So now to start decorating my mantle for winter. So first I want to wipe it down with the Method Clean and Dust in the Almond Scent. Give it a quick wipe down and then I noticed that the TV hadn't been wiped down for a while so I went and I grabbed a Microsoft cloth with just water and then wiped it down and then really tried to get behind the TV and boy was it dusty. Just look how dusty. Ugh. Well, I'm glad that I was able to get that. And so I went ahead, got another Microsoft cloth and then dried the TV. So now let's have some fun with the decorations for winter. And at the end, I'll share with you where I got everything and any tips that I have. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go Carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes I just knew that he was special He said he wanted to take it slow But I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great So does anybody else have trouble making a blanket look like it's just casually thrown there But still looks nice? <laughs> well, I was having a little difficulty here and you may see there that that's our puppy, Nyla. She's grown a good bit. She's off leash now um, because she's pretty much potty trained. And so she has a lot more freedoms to roam the house. And here she's enjoying a Kong ball that is filled with bacon flavored cheese. But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on. Day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to take these command strips and then hang the banner and the pom-pom garland So here is my winter mantle all finished and I think it turned out really nice. It's very neutral but still has lots of winter uh, appeal. So the basket to the left is from TJ Maxx. The blanket is actually from Hobby Lobby and that was our tree skirt. The pillow to the right comes in a set of five pillow cases from Amazon. The lantern is from Aldi's that I got in the fall and then that pine is from a local craft store and here's a closer look at the pom-pom garland in the hello winter banner and I really love how it turned out 
So this tree to the right is from Walmart and it was actually a little shorter than the other side. So I elevated it with a glass and then wrapped it with the burlap and tied it with twine. And I really thought that that balanced um, it off evenly since I didn't have two trees that were exactly the same. And then right beside of it is a DIY clothespin uh, snowflake that I made for Christmas. It's actually an ornament, so be sure to check that video out as well. I'll try to link it in a card above. So the plaque in the center, the faith, hope, and love is from Hobby Lobby as well as the little white tree. And then as you scroll to the right, I have an iron dish that contains the DIY snowballs that I made in a video, so be sure to check that out. And then a little uh, sign that says snowballs for five cents. And then directly beside of it to the right is a tree that I got from Target. And I wrapped it with burlap to cover up the red stripe because I thought it um, looked a little too much like Christmas. Okay guys, well that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, I just ask that you give me a big thumbs up. If you like this type of content, I ask that you subscribe. I'd love to have you back and if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like for me to do, leave them in the comments. Be sure to stop and say hi before you go. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!